So I just read Fulgrim, The Palatine Phoenix by Josh Reynolds, and while it wasn't perfection, it was a very enjoyable read. Fulgrim has only recently been rediscovered and introduced to his Legion, or at least what's left of it anyway, because of a series of unfortunate events involving our favorite magpie in a mysterious illness called the Blight, the Emperor's children only had around 200 members left when Fulgrim was reintroduced to them. This book tells the story of Fulgrim's first solo campaign after spending the last couple missions alongside of the Luna Wolves. So in order to impress his brothers and show for once and always that the Emperor's children are worthy of respect, Fulgrim vows to conquer the planet Byzas using only 7 space marines. This book tells the story of this campaign and gives us a look at the Emperor's children legion in their early days. It's a George Reynolds novel, so it should come as no surprise to you that the characters are all amazing and that they really are the highlight of the book. Let's start off with the Primarch himself, shall we? Fulgrim, together with the rest of his legion, have always been known as arrogant, but in this book we learn that Fulgrim's arrogance is really just a mask. The real Fulgrim feels like he has failed his legion because of his absence during all the struggles the legion went through before his rediscovery. This has made him insecure about his competence, and therefore this campaign is just as much about proving his worth to himself than to prove it to his brothers. Not only is Reynolds' version of Fulgrim quite likable, he is also a complete troll at times and has some amazing one-liners. This also holds true for the other Emperor's children. They keep their flair of arrogance and superiority while also being portrayed in a way that makes them relatable. I also want to give a special shout out to Fabius Bile. He is both cool and hilarious at the same time. Especially his interactions with Fulgrim are pure gold and I wish there were more of those in this book. Not just the Space Marines shine in this novel, however. The side characters are also quite well developed. Especially Pike, the expedition's primary iterator and spy mistress, is a massive badass. I'd almost wish she would get her own novel, so we could see her interact with the other Primarchs as well. That's another great thing about the novel, by the way, the one-liners. There are so many amazing one-liners in this novel, it's insane. And some really had me laugh out loud as well, making me look kinda like an idiot that was giggling at my e-reader. Seriously, if you want some good Emperor's Children quotes, then this book is your best bet. Just in general, the comedy in this book is pretty good. There's a lot of dry humor and absurd scenes in this book, such as Fabius Baal sulking in the corner at a party, and Fulgrim calmly pointing out that someone just tried to kill him by poisoning his drink. This also fits the Legion pretty well, as the Emperor's Children often seem to take things a bit less serious than the other Legions. I think the foreshadowing in this book was pretty okay. There was this one scene where one legionary is scrutinized by his commander as he was singing during combat and timing his boulder shots to align with this song, and I thought that that was a pretty funny piece of foreshadowing for the noise marines. But the rest is pretty standard. On the other hand, I think the book foreshadows its own plot developments a bit too much, almost to the point of spoiling the ending for you. This didn't ruin the plot for me, but it did make it extremely predictable. Finally, I also really liked the story that Reynolds chose to tell. Sure, we don't get to see the early days of Fulgrim Chemos, but his memories throughout the book tell enough in my opinion. But because we get to see the first real campaign of the Emperor's Children, we get a unique look at an infant legion and its development. We get to see the tensions between the Terranborn and the Chemos recruits, we get a look at young Fabius Baal who's still finding his place within the universe, and we get to see how Fulgrim tries to rebuild his legion from the ashes just as he did on Chemos. All in all, I'm giving this book 4 out of 5 Black Library stars. We get a great look at the Emperor's Children that humanizes them without betraying their character in a novel that has great one-liners, great characters and great humor. If you like the Emperor's Children or if you're planning on reading the Fabius Baal trilogy, then this is really a must read. Then to the tier list. But I'm really struggling whether I should put this one above or below the Lehman Rust book. I enjoyed this one more myself, but I don't know whether that's just because of my bias in favor of the Third Legion, or my bias against the Space Wolves, or because it's just better. This book has humor, one-liners, and many cool memorable characters, and the plot structure is much better than that of the Lehman Rust book. But on the other hand, the Rust book had an excellent portrayal of both the Dark Angels and the Space Wolves, as well as both Primarchs. Not to mention, it also tackled much more lore and had better foreshadowing than this book. In the end, I'm going to put it just above the Lehman book, because if I had to recommend one of these to a friend that didn't care about the lore and just wanted a fun novel, I think he would enjoy the Fulgrim novel more. But again, these two are really close, so if you think it should be the other way around, I can totally understand. Anyway, that's what I got for you today. For the Emperor!